Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part six of how to use face reading to support, enhance, and to sharpen your communication skills. Now, given the face reveals a wealth of information about someone without them speaking a single word, it makes perfect sense to tap into some of its potential. So let's begin to look at the prominent features of the face. Now as I said, there is a vast amount of information on show, so the emphasis will be restricted to those features that will allow you to make a rapid assessment, almost in a matter of moments. You will have informative and practical insights into someone's personality at your fingertips. So, to put you in the right frame of mind, let's start with the forehead. Now the upper zone of the face provides information on the mental approach someone takes in their life. Now, for example, a person with a highly developed intellect is likely to have more surface area in the upper zone of the face. Now, these people can be impractical, but still imaginative and creative. Now, when you begin to look at the forehead, assess it and determine its height and its width. The height will give you information on the intelligence, the range of intelligence of a person and the width, how open and understanding they are. Now if the width is narrow, it's likely that you're facing a narrow-minded person. And if the width is broad, it's likely that you're with a broad-minded person. Now you can use this information as you proceed with the conversation. In addition, we're seeing the front of the face. It's also important to observe it from the side. The profile offers some very important information. And here, the key is the slope of the forehead. Now, if you happen to sit across from someone and you haven't seen their profile, you're going to have to think of a way of making sure you do see it. So you might say, hey, have a look, and they'll look over there, and then you can assess it. But make sure you get a good picture of the profile. As said, it does contain some valuable information. If the forehead is relatively straight, you are dealing with a person who prefers to have sufficient detail and time for consideration before making up their mind. This is a specific to global person. They will give a decision a lot of thought, particularly if it has significance. They always seem to have a lot on their mind. A receding hairline indicates additional creativity. A sloping forehead has the opposite characteristics. This person does not require too much detail. They make up their mind quickly. This is a global to specific person. They see the bigger picture. They're often blessed with intuition, good judgment and understand people. Now for some points about the hairline. Generally just take note of how high it is how wide it is, and whether it's rounded or whether it's straight. If it is straight, high and wide, then you are looking at an intelligent, open-minded person. If it is straight, narrow and wide, it is likely to be a practical person. If it is straight, narrow and short, you are probably with a closed-minded person. They usually have an external frame of reference. If it is high and rounded, then you're looking at a flexible, creative and intuitive person. If there is a high and narrow forehead, you have a single-minded person who only values their own opinion. Now, an interesting hairline is the M shape. This person enjoys feeling free and can be highly intelligent, though they are often rather sensitive. That completes part six. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. In the next part, I will look at the eyes and the eyebrows. Please visit my website, knowyourmind.com, and my blog, mikelally.com, and make contact if you wish. Keep in mind, you have many faces. Let's put them to use and be mindful. The face says, this is who I am. So before we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.